The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. Life began in Christ Jesus. We were dead in sin and therefore there was no life before Jesus. There was only human life which is mere existence. Real life began in Christ Jesus. First John chapter 3 verse number 9. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him. And he cannot sin because he is born of God. In the spirit of the man born again is the life and the nature of God. The seed of God. That spirit cannot produce sin. The spirit of God that becomes the nature of the believer cannot produce sin it cannot produce sin remember second corinthians 5 17 behold therefore if any man be in christ is a new creature all things are passed away behold that's an instruction behold we have to behold this new creation as a reality behold the reality of the new creation is in god's word and it can never be seen via our experiences it can never be seen via our experiences again that's why first peter chapter 1 verse 23 put it up for me being born again not of corruptible seed but of incorruptible by the word of god which liveth and abideth forever the word incorruptible seed this is the process of the new birth that cannot be altered it cannot be altered that's why he is born of the incorruptible. It cannot be altered. He is born of the incorruptible seed. Incorruptible seed. What do you mean by incorruptible seed? Brother Peter further explains that concept in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 2 to 3. Pay attention. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of jesus christ grace unto you and peace be multiplied watch the next verse next verse blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of jesus christ from the dead begotten us again which means the explanation of peter is if jesus's resurrection cannot be reversed the new birth cannot be reversed because we are begotten again to a lively hope by the resurrection so if the resurrection cannot be reversed the new birth cannot be reversed and that's exactly what peter is teaching he uses the term anna genoa anna genoa born again he says it's spiritual born again is not natural that which is born of flesh is flesh 
that which is born of spirit so born again is spiritual it's not a physical kind of thing brother peter further explains that concept in first peter chapter 2 verse number 5 ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house the born again man is a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices a spiritual house that offers spiritual sacrifices which are acceptable to god by jesus christ can you say very loud i am a living stone say i am a spiritual house so born again is a spiritual fact a spiritual fact it's not a change of clothes it's not a change of hairdo it's not a change of church and it's not a change of where you live i am born again i am born of the father that is my reality now you need to understand that the spiritual truth of who you are is your reality the spiritual truth of who you are is your reality pastor praise i want to re-emphasize the spiritual truth of who you are is your reality there is no reality outside of that for the believer you need to understand that the spiritual truth of who you are so your reality is not your feelings your reality is not your feelings because feelings are not always the same your reality most of the time your reality is always the word of god kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here and also like this message for us do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from Thank you, message community.